Hi all, it's Kylie from Kylie's Card Craft. Welcome back. Right, part two of our signatures for this journal. We've just left it with our little envelope made. We're going to decorate that and adhere it on. So, and I've gone and grabbed another board so that this will stay on the board and keep clean. Yeah, right. Right, so I want to decorate the front of my envelope and I want to decorate this part of my envelope and I'm going to adhere it and pop some washi tape over this flap. Okay, so first things first, we will decorate the front of our envelope. I've, again, I'm just using the stuff that's on my desk. <laughs> so much stuff on my desk. I've got a sticker book that I've been using. I actually got for a journal that I did earlier in the year and I've still got quite a bit in there. As my envelope's going opposite the page with this one, I thought we'd continue the flower part on the envelope as well. And there's a few flowers left in here, which will make it nice and easy to add something to the front of our envelope. So if you look at your stickers, so something like that would work a treat and I wouldn't have to do much else too. So, all right, we'll just pull that one out. But I don't want to have just that on there. So I'm going to pop a little bit of old newspaper, which will be in one of my junky scrap bins sitting here. Let's have a look. I want, I want something in a darker colour. Okay. So it's a matter of just rifling through, and I really should clean this out properly because I just... I chuck everything in here. I know what I want. Oh, I've got something like that, which is a bit of packing paper, just brown paper packing. Brown paper packaging tied up with string. Sorry. Um, not in there. Oh, shut up. And this one that I've pulled out of here. Something like that. I love this newspaper. Look at that. Well, how hard was that? All right. So I'm just going to tear it straight along there. Even up that tear a little bit. Make sure I've got it up the right way. So something like that on there, with then that sticker, is all that's really going to need. So that was nice and easy. And I've moved all my blending tools. Oh, what did I do with those? Because I had to film. I had to film. I had to take a photo of the last one. Oh, my word. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm lost without them. Come on, everybody. Help me find them. There they are. <laughs> Put that one there. Right, back into the gathered twigs, just for that real definition. I haven't used gathered twigs this much for ages because I tend to stick all the time these days with the brushed corduroy. So just very lightly, just highlighting it. And down, beautiful. Back to the glue book. Pop that one back over here in that container. Glue stick, hoping that's the new one. This newspaper's from 18 something. 1897, I think. So I've got oodles of it and I love it. Give that a push. Right, as I said, I want this one. These have, they're just stickers, but they have this whitish cream edge around them. So what I usually do with them, and I'll do it now to show you, is I will get my little makeup brush blending tool, and I will get out my tree branch in the archival ink again. Just get a little bit on the brush, and I'll just, I'll move that down so you can see it, and I'll just go around and give it a little bit of a, a darker scunge, I suppose would be the best word for it. So I'm just going over that whole page, you know, as in around that sticker, all right, now I'll peel that off. 
But because it's a sticker and I'm, you're never quite certain, doesn't matter what brand they are, um, you're never quite certain just how well they're going to stick. I will still always put a little bit of glue on them. They don't need much, but I'll just put a little bit on just to be doubly certain. Oh, look at that. There goes my clock again. So now it's tough past three. She's definitely out of whack. And she's dinging for three o'clock. So, right. Tweezers, everything should be still here. I've done nothing. I've just uploaded the part one. So this is part two of, just before that sticks down, just gonna sit you up a little bit. What I want is a little bit of cheesecloth. And I should have, that'll be here somewhere beside me. There it is. A little bit of cheesecloth just to soften it up a little bit further. So I'll just get my big scissors, chop a chunk off. Maybe I need to clean the glue off my big scissors. That'll be between this one and the next one. And again, no rhyme, no reason to what I chop off. I just chop, put that in the basket. Lift that up. Just going to tuck that under there, like so. Okay. Hope that glue is still sticky. So very quickly, we've just done the front of our envelope that we made in the last one. Okay, so that's our front done. So now something on the back. So let's stick with our sticker and find something else in here. So it's a beautiful, beautiful book. It's simple stories. Um, something like this might be nice. Let's go that one very quickly. So I hope you're enjoying the series. Please let me know one way or the other. Um, and I'm hoping to have it done four parts, maybe. I don't know. The book, the journal itself is not that large, so it shouldn't take too much. Well, I'm hoping not because I need to desperately get some journals done for market because I've got nothing left up there. Right, so do we continue on the same one or do we give it a different book page this time? Ah, book page. I've got my book paper down here with some lovely other old ones. They're not actually newsprint, but just make sure there's nothing nasty in there. So this one, I, oh, well, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. It's going to go that way. I'm going to leave the plain bit down the bottom and I might stamp something on that plain bit. What could I stamp on that plain bit? Let's have a look. I'm still too large. Like that. Yep. Happy with that. All right. Wow, two in one day. That's a new one for me. Mind you, in between them, while the other one was uploading, because that's uploaded now, um, while that was uploading, I did race down and grab bread for lunches tomorrow and another coffee, which I've had time to finish. So that one will be stuck on. So instead of the... Um, we'll do it the same sort of way. Am I the right way around? Yes. But instead of putting the cheesecloth under it, we might look at a little bit of lace. Just so it's a little bit different, but still on the same vein. Now, I've got some bigger bits of lace in here somewhere. Look at these. So, this one's a good size. Something like that would work nicely, wouldn't it? So just soften them up a little bit. We'll go there. Which will go down there. I'll put a little bit of tape because I've actually thought of it first 
this time. Usually when I'm doing something like lace or cheesecloth, I'll put a little bit of double-sided tape on my actual sticker, which will help that stick as well. Peel that off. Just lightly sit that down so that the lace is attached to the um, double-sided tape. And then I'll grab my fabric glue, if I can. Right. And then I'll put my fabric glue on here over the lace. Again, doesn't need that much, so I'm just dabbing when it actually comes out. Right, this time I've got the lace to hang on to, kinda. How's that? Right, so down here, move that one away. I'm going to pop my glue on that section. See, this is not keeping this board clean, is it? Oh, here it comes. All right, make sure I go all the way up the top because that's the bit that's going to have the most use. We'll adhere our little envelope on. Right up the top, round about in the center or close to. Now that it's sitting there, I can actually grab it a little bit. Pop him on. But because I've got that flap, you can just leave that flap like that. I tend not to, so I'm going to use a little bit of washi tape. And so the little flap we did at about half an inch, my washi tape's a bit over half an inch, so I'd want at least half an inch, if not more, to cover up that flap. Again, I will use glue if I'm using washi tape. I just to doubly make sure, as this one won't have any um, real pressure on it because the flap is actually originally stuck down. Go a little bit over, maybe. See, this is still this problem child today, isn't it? All right, going a little bit further down there as well. Pop that in. And find the end to this. There it is. Maybe. Yes. And I don't know where I got this washi tape from. Sorry. But it has these beautiful, beautiful little birds. So that's about what I want. And I just want a torn edge. And I want it to go wider. So there and there sit you on my tripod to use later on. So right up to the edge of that. Kind of straight, isn't it? Okay. So it's got a little bit of flowers, a little bit of birds, and that's our envelope all stuck down. Next page. Woohoo. That one we did. Music page. You don't have to put something on every page. Most times I do. With this one, what I'm thinking of is I want a little bit of lace. I love my lace. So I'm going to pop a little bit of lace on here. Now I had lace. Here we go. And I'm thinking, I grabbed two laces out very quickly. I'm thinking this one. This has been coffee dyed. So this is just the normal colour of this lace which yes, works. It's a beautiful old crocheted type lace, but this one's only, in, it's a new lace, but it's been coffee dyed. So it's got these variances in color. And I'm thinking that one might be even better. So if I trim that on there, so it doesn't go the full way of the page, it'll just, sit in there if I can get it in 
Move that and that. All right. So the page that I'm doing is this music page. And I want it in a little bit, but not too far. And I'm going to even it up so that we're not quite at the, the top, at the bottom, not quite at the top. So what I'm going to do is grab a little piece of scrap so that I can see. Oh, I've got a drawer full of offcuts that I use from when I've cut out digitals. And if I sit that under there, I can see it easier. Does that make sense? Whereas when I take that out, I tend to, well, with my eyes, I tend to lose sight of it. So because this is so white, I can see it better. So back with my fabric glue. Um, and remember, it's not going all the way to the top or all the way to the bottom. So I'm just going under a little bit. Right. And I'm just going to follow my page line down. All the way down to about, I don't know, quarter of an inch, just under quarter of an inch. Not quite half a centimetre. Right. I could always go back and put a little bit more on there if I need to. Does this have a right and a wrong? Yes, that way maybe. It's not going to matter because it's going the other way. Now, I'm just going to lightly put it there so that I can even it up. Yep, and now I can straighten it up as I go. Peel that one off, which is the other reason why I have that one under there, so that it's not sticking to my other pages. Turn it around, give it a good push. Because this page is smaller, it doesn't come to the edge. So see how it's now just tipping out, so it's just a little secret something going on in there. And that's all I'm going to do on that music page. Done. This one. I'm thinking I want a pocket, but a different type of pocket again, and going this way. Now, before I do it, you need to think prior, um, if you're putting something bulky in there, if you want to do something on this side. So if I wanted journaling space on this side and I wanted to rule my lines, it's easier to leave this plane while we're ruling. I'm not going to rule my lines with this one. What I want to do is some stenciling, okay? So I'm just going to grab those scraps again and bring them out here because I don't want it to go over onto this page. So I'm just going to sit that there. And I don't want it to go on that lace. So I'm just going to sit it there like that. And I can hold this down as I go. So I've pulled out a couple of stencils. Not quite certain whether I want some words or whether I want some flowers. I'm thinking the words because it's a smaller one. And as you can see, I use this one all the time. Um, it's a crafter's workshop stencil, just a six by six stencil. I've got quite a few of theirs and I love them. As you can see, it's always used. Now I'll use this with gesso, I'll use it with paints, I'll use it with inks. And I think it's got a collection of all of them on it everywhere. And all I want to do, I could do it that way or I could do it that way. I'm going to do it very lightly that way okay because if you want to journal on it or tuck something on that'll go straight again i'm going to use my tree branch because it's nice and light and i find for stenciling these are brilliant okay so i'm just going to get it in and i want it light really light if you want to you can see how you're going with it as you go because this is on a darker coffee stain you'll go a little bit heavier than you would if it was just on a really light one. So see how there's just little bits there? I don't want per permanent, not permanent. I don't want perfect writing. Does that make sense? I just want the hint of writing. So I'm actually going, you know, a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit darker on the edges. A little bit in there. 
just every now and again pull it up you'll see what you're getting so what you'll have is the hint of writing or whatever it is that you're using as a stencil now you can do that with a stamp you could stamp it if you wanted to don't use a block just use your stamp with your hand and that way you'll get that variegated look so just a little bit but because I've got this down here, if I'm going over the page, it's not going to show up onto the next page. So a little bit down there. I'm going to go darker, really dark down there. Let's just have a look and see what we've got. Got a little bit in the middle. Just a little bit of darkness here and there. Pick up some more ink. Go a little bit dark again. Right, that's it. Okay, so I'll bring that up close so that you can see it. Let's have a look. Can you see that? Has it gone into focus again yet? So it's there, but it's not there. It's giving something on that page, but it's still allowing you to journal if you wish to journal on it. Okay, so now I can go back and pop the pocket that I want to pop on this one because I've used that as its flat surface so now I'm going to go that way so I'm just going to move these what I want to do with this pocket and as I said this is the way the journal goes I want to turn this pocket so it's this way back into my book paper move that stencil now I've got some book paper here that I've just ripped them out of books older books because that way they have this wonderful, you know, like here's a new cookbook that I use for my glue book. Look at the colour. Now look at the colour. They're just scrummy. There is no other word for it. So I've got a couple here. What have I got in? Oh, and speaking of that, can you see that? This one, when it's been printed, that's the only thing you need to watch out for with old or vintage books. This one, if you look, it's about three quarters of an inch from the edge of the writing to the side of the page. Up here, it's about seven eighths of an inch. So if you're trimming them down, beautiful. If you want to use the whole page, you need to watch that or trim this bit off. Um, this one looks a little bit straighter. Yeah, that one's a little bit straighter. So I want this. I can trim up my edges. It's still crooked, but top and bottom, that's fine. I want this so that my writing will be... Up the right way at the front and the back will be the other way because I'll have things tucked in there but I don't want too much of this and let's see it's this old rag paper and it bends really easy so just watch what you're doing so I've evened that up right that's where it's going to go anyway so watch what we're going to do and I like the fact that it's torn down here Okay, so it's fairly straight. I didn't do that wonderfully well, did I? Let's have a look. Right, so I'm going to trim this section off. Now let's go to our trimmer. Line that up with that side. I'm not going to put it all the way down there because it's not a straight edge down there. So just to there and on to that one. Right, so that they're now the same size. What I want with this one is a double pocket. So this side will be adhered onto my page like so. This one will be up again from there. But I'm gonna put my little half oval punch in it. I'm looking for my pencil. Again, I'll look for my centre point. If I work on this grid, that's about centre, which is about here. I'm 
going in. Go to my full half. Right. Before I start working any further on it, I'm just going to ink that edge just so that it stands out. And I've just picked up the brush corduroy. Watch what you're doing when they're old. Stop talking occasionally and just watch what you're doing. I'm not overly concerned with that. It's just, it is what it is with this sort of paper. But just, yeah, just watch what you're doing with it. Now, I love all these edges. I just want to pick all that up. It's just where I've torn it out of the book. All right, so I've got that. Technically, that's that one. Again, I'm going to this center line. I'll show you in a second what it is that I'm going to do. I'm going here. And I, what I want to do is go down about halfway. About there. I don't know what that is. What is it? What have we got? We've got about... Uh, it's my favorite inch and a half. And I'm going to get my scissors. Scissors, blade, whatever you want to use. And I'm just going to cut that to where I made that pencil mark. Okay. What I want to do is fold that back like a shirt collar. With this paper, because it's old and it's it's stiffer, but fairly fragile. We'll see if it'll work with this one. I'm going to put my ruler there and up to the corner. And I want to bend it without ripping it further. There. And there. So we're just going to bend that. Now I'm going to fold them down. Okay. So what I've got is a double pocket. Pocket here, pocket here, once all this is adhered. So now I'm going to ink this side, because this is the side that we are now looking at. Like so. I need to try and get in here without ripping it. And I'm going to go on the top. Fold them both down. So on the top there, and on the top there. Right, technically, there's our pocket. I'm going to decorate a little bit in here, which will hold these down. And then we can do our double tags. And hopefully, if we've done our measurements correctly, this should then fit like so. Okay, a little pocket in here. Then I'm going to drop it all the way down, or almost all the way down, to the edge of this page, which gives us more room in here to pull something in and out. And then we've got this one. So I'm just gonna start gluing. If I can find my little glue book to put my pin on, there we go. So I'm just gonna give this just a little bit there to hold him down. Same with this one. That'll hold those ones down. This side, I can actually run straight down here because it's a straight edge. So we're gonna go straight down there, up to your fold line. And on this side, I'm gonna go in and around just to gather those sections that are torn. Doesn't matter if my pocket's a little bit narrower once all this is glued down. But that way, look, and if you don't like all that torn look, by all means, don't put it in. But I like that look, That's and it, but it's just me, okay? Well, it might not be just me. It might be everybody else as well, or some people. Um, so it's up to you whether you want to just trim that off so that you've got a straight edge. And you can do this with any books. Right, so there's that one. Now, this whole thing... And I'm going to stick it in before we decorate it. Will now be adhered as though it's just a normal pocket. So the three sides and your three straight edges, as such, along there. 
and down here. Because we've got all that glue running down this side where it's all torn, where it's come out of the book, it'll help that as well, give it a little bit more sturdiness. So here's our book. Again, making sure we're up the right way. Yes. So I want it to go that way. And I'm going to pop it fairly close to the edge. Not right on the edge, though. So it's, I don't know, a couple of mil. I don't know what that would be in inches. I work in both, but when we get that small, I have to go back down to mils. Right. So there's our little pocket. So we've got pocket in here and a pocket in there. This little bit in here, I want to pop some stuff on. Just some, just some little bits, eye candy bits and stuff like that. So let's have a think. We could go back to that. What's in there? It could be one of those butterflies. Oh, we could get out a butterfly, actually. Is there butterflies left in here? Have I nicked them off? There's one. I'm actually thinking I don't want it as a sticker, though, and then I can put it down where I want to. If I go to small butterflies, sorry. Wow, don't have many small butterflies left, do I? Need to do some fussy cutting. Uh, so, let's have a look. Now, the problem with that one, see all its little antenna and all the rest, if that's sitting there like that, which sits beautifully but you've got to watch all of these so you might need it to sit on something so if we use and i'll use that just to show you what i mean so that's those ones but because those antenna are sitting there and if we just adhere this guy in like this we're popping tags in and out what's going to happen is his little antenna will get um bent over broken off etc just going back to ink around this because it's been fussy cut it has a white edge around it um or i might not have gone close to the edge in some spots where i have in other spots so if i'm just going around with this and it means that i can then go around those antennas as well whereas if i used this one it would pick them up and bend them so i'm just going with this because it's so soft it allows it to go over but by still adding the ink. All right. So, back to this, back to this. So, we need kind of something to go on there. Size-wise, two inches. I'm wondering, I'm wondering, That might work. A little oval going in there. It peats it off that. It then brings it all in together. So, as I said before, I had the remainder of this one from where we made our little envelope. That one's not bad. I don't want to use book page um, because it's this, it won't highlight out enough but it needs to be no hang on a moment i'm just looking over here something like this is a little bit more sturdy than our copy paper that stands out doesn't it all right let's just see it takes five seconds to punch it oh right i'll move that back in So with that, like so, it doesn't ruin too much of the effect of that. And that like that. He's then, he sits over it a little bit, but his antenna are all then encased in this oval. Like so. Yeah, quite happy with that. We'll just play a little bit with that. It needs something. Um... What sort of something could I use? Oh, I know what I had. I had it sitting here from the other day when I did something the other day. Oh, I know what I had. Actually, 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 actually. Let's... Should be sitting in this one. This. 
that would look quite nice on it, wouldn't it? No, I lose him. Well, it was a good idea at the time, but I do have, sitting over here, I think, I have it in that. Oh, oh I don't know. Just, just for fun's sake, but I want one of those areas where it's all really... You know, oh, um, free stuff. So now we'll put that one away. Let's have a look at that now. I like that one better. Right. I'm still thinking, do I want, do I want a little bit of cheesecloth on that as well, because that's me. Let's have a look. Oh, I put my other little piece of cheesecloth away here, didn't I? What did I just do with that cheesecloth I had out? It would have gone in this. It would have gone. Oh, there it is. Just a little bit. Now this is just the white cheesecloth that I've tea dyed or coffee dyed. I don't know which one. I've just chucked it in one or the other. I'm just gonna, doesn't matter if I don't use it. I can trim it because I'll use it for something. I just want to make it a little bit wider. And if I... See, I'm just thinking now. This is my brain thinking. I'm happy with that. That That's more me. I'm going to put my little bit of double-sided tape on there. What are we up to? 37 minutes. That might do for this one. We'll get this guy attached. I promise they won't be as long as the first one. I want to stick to about 40 minutes, between 30 and 40 minutes for each one after that. Right. I'm just going to take that off, leave that flat, scrunch this up again. I want my wings to come off, but my antenna to be encased in it. All right, now I can use my fabric glue, which is good, and then I'd better put the lead or the pin back on the other glue. All right. A little bit there, I'm just gonna lift you up because you need a little bit under there. Ah, <laughs> oh, so messy. So messy. Very messy. Okay. All right, wings off, antenna in. Get the glue off your hands, Kylie. And that can sit in there like that. Right, so now we'll go back to this glue. I'm just going to make sure I can get that glue out first. Now, remembering, we don't want it over there. So if I leave my finger about there, we can pop it on the rest. Leaving that bit in there. And let's hope we haven't gone over it. So I just want to go a little bit over there. And I'm just pushing down the bottom first because I want to make sure that I've got no glue in there. No, I haven't. So, how's that one? And isn't that an easy little pocket to do? And whether you're doing a larger journal or a smaller one, doing a larger journal, use a bigger book page if you want, or turn it that way so that it goes up and you've got a double pocket. So, so far in our little journal, 
we've got. So at the end of each one, we'll do a flip through of what we've done. We've got that one, standard pocket. And we've got a little pocket here. We've got our envelope pocket that we've made. We've got a piece of our signature that's folded around, a little bit of lace, and our double pocket with our book page. Okay. Oh, and our stenciling ready if you want to still journal over. So we're halfway through our first signature. I will leave it at that for our next one. I'm hoping to get on. There'll be no more today, I promise. I've got to go do other things. <sighs> um, and then we'll keep working our way through, coming up with different ideas for our signatures and all the rest. I hope you're enjoying this series. As I said before, please let me know if you are. Let me know if you're not, you know. I can, I'm a big girl. I can handle it. Um, and we'll continue along. So thank you again for joining me with this. If you're liking this series and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Um, for all of you that have subscribed, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, thank you. And until next time, happy crafting. Bye.